Hi, this is Venkat here. Like, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash and Product. Today, I'm going to talk about a fantastic area that is SQL. So, I got my previous video on Oracle and followed by I got my videos on database management system. And this is SQL. And the next one is on relational database management system. I mean, we got a lot of database things. Okay, anyway, like I took almost 36 hours to prepare the entire content and you are looking into SQL, SQL. So before that, I want to share you yeah, great information and also yeah, small advice people. Please, please, there is a small tip for this pandemic period. So please do not sit idle. Build your profile as much as you can and beneficial. Like a, try to build yourself towards the beneficial for your future. And please avoid games and entertainment, which will spoil your mind. Okay, so no one is studying, no one is preparing any content. Whether you are going to study or you are going to build your profile or not is up to you. Please, please start doing it. Okay, so this is the tips I want to share you for this pandemic. Okay, now let's talk about what is SQL the abbreviation for sql is a structured query language okay sql so sql is nothing but a query language which it can access some data from the database that is called as sql a structured query language the first one is like a, the structure writing in a strong format a structured format that is called a structure and the query i'm asking something from others so like i'm asking something i'm getting something from others by asking something i'm getting something from others that is called a, in a structured format i'm writing a query that is called a structured query writing query in a structured format and finally structured query language the language which is in the format of queries and it is in a structured format to access the database that is called a structured query language. Considering an user is it? This is a usual picture, right? <laughs> I, I love this picture to explain stuff. Okay, Venkat is there. He is sitting in a computer and he is giving his email ID and password. Automatically, a yeah, SQL is created. And this SQL entered the server and to the database. And I got the inbox which is coming back. And it is coming back via the internet. And it is Venkat. This is how your SQL formed. SQL is the query which formed and it is moving towards the internet to the server to get some information. That is called a structured query language. Okay, so before going ahead with my session, like I want to share you the great news. Like um, the one thing is like which I want to share you. If I'm putting a video on entertainment, it's a great hit. I can go for vlog, I can go somewhere and eat something, create a video and post it. The people are enjoying. But I want to, that is, what is the use of enjoying those videos people, try to understand. No one knows the value of technology. So we are tits and bits of small, very little number of people. We are focusing and we are trying to take the technology to the people. So we are re working really hard to motivate the people. So I'm trying to do something better for the people to motivate them. So what is the revenue which I'm getting from this channel? The entire revenue I'm giving to the poor people and to my subscribers. Okay, so how sir will ask some question to people. Just answer the question. Post the content in the comments. The winners will be given cash prize. All the money I'm giving to my society. Okay, so I'm trying to transform the society. If you want to transform the society, it should start from us. So I request your people not to create multiple accounts to like uh, participate in the competition because let everyone get money. Okay, so that's how I'm trying to motivate the people. And this video, as I told you, like you got a cash prize. While well, for posting the answers in the comments, you'll be getting a cash prize yes um, yeah as i told you like uh, all the videos in this channel will be having a cash price and apart from that sir i have posted comments for almost more than 100 videos in this channel sir you will be getting a participation certificate from our company it's a recognized certificate you'll be getting from our company so start posting the comments okay and this is the previous videos which i posted so on dbms on oracle on sqlite and mysql these are purely based on the databases just watch those videos and get lots of, of information on databases yes sir i want to build my profile in sql world what i can do you can go for courses 
or internships okay so rackle you can learn or sql server you can learn or mysql you can learn sir i want to go towards the latest technology sir you can go with the big data okay so if you're looking for any courses contact me i'm ready to help you people don't worry okay now let's move more move to our sql so as i told you you got the application your website or application they call it as front-end application the user is seeing something automatically yeah sql is created to access the database the database can be oracle or mysql or sql server or any of the databases and this is how the communication of sql is happening between the front end and the back end now as i told you you got the front end application facebook twitter and everything automatically it is converted to an sql and it is like it is it is a process in the database and you will be getting this data stored and you can fetch the data to show some informations like this okay this is how the entire process in an application if we talk about the sql structured query language you got four major stuff the one is like data defining how i want defining and data manipulations what is the manipulation i need to do with the defined structure control how i can control it i can control it and how i can retrieve it so we got three four major languages data definition languages data manipulation data control and finally it's a data retrieval language the one is data definition language where we are able to create and alter it and if you don't want i can drop it man so this is how the defining structure create it alter it remove it that's how your data definition language works the second one is data manipulation language where i want to insert the data sir so i can store the data insert the data can be done sir no sir no, i want to update the data sir yes you can update the data so this is how your update is happening sir i want to delete the data sir let's remove it man let's delete the data so this is how your data manipulation language works the next one is like sir i want to control it sir i want to access it I want I need a control for that so that's called data control language granting an access so that's called a grant statement and sir I don't want access to be given sir just remove it man let's revoke this like a reward the control given so that's called a revoke statement these two are considered as a data control languages and finally we got a data retrieval language where I can fetch the data I can visualize it I can do whatever I want that is called a data retrieval language yeah and the next one is like a transaction control language so like your dbms or your sql got a transaction control language whatever like i want to send money to 100 people man let's send it to everyone no i don't want to send to anyone so you got your commit statements and you got your rollback okay so your transaction control statements is nothing but so all the transactions needs to be done all the transactions needs to be done so that's your transaction control statements Okay, so you got a commit and a revokes. So you got a commit statement and you got a rollback statements. Okay, in transaction control statement. We'll talk about those things later in my uh, courses and all. So like if we got a cash price challenge. Oh, I missed it, man. So these are the three people who got the prizes. Mr. Perry Annan, Rod Rod, and Timila Ramesh. Congrats. So you'll be getting your uh, cash prize soon. Check your Google Pay or Phone Pay, which you registered. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. So these are the winners of my previous video. So this video, post the comments, people. You got the answers and the questions in the last. Okay. So I feel proud to tell you that um, myself, Venkat, I'm a trained uh, like a candidate from Microsoft and certified and awarded by Microsoft. Okay. So I feel proud to share this information with you. And if, you, if you're looking for any other technology videos, these are some of the videos I got it in my channel. So go to my channel and learn as much as you can. Okay. So lots of technology videos are there. And these are the three channels I'm running. And if you love this channel, so please subscribe it. In all these three channels, so whatever videos we are putting, we are paying money okay so for the comments for comment post posting comments we are paying money so you got cash in for tech cash in and vvs lifestyle apart from this, if you're looking for any other technology please post it people i'm ready to help you on this okay so it's my insta account kashu underscore infotech i'm looking for a message from you people please please send a message to me like uh, give me a feedback or something like that so click this follow button here is the numbers to contact me yes and our company, Kashiv Infotech, what's the company, sir? We are providing lots of training. Okay, so training to the people. We research, lots of research. 
okay and many companies are asking our students to the companies these are some of the openings they approach us okay so if you are my student please contact me we will re refer your resume okay and if you're looking for any technical articles on sql yes it's available in my wikidiki.com slash tutorial slash sql please go there and learn as much as you can okay let's move on here what is sql query like a, see actually the user is there yes sql query is created and it's go to the database and the database is returning an output that's awesome man okay so let's talk about the data definition language where i'm able to create a table so create table this is a student table with the name id and name what is a query create table table name id integer command name var care of 100 so i'm able to create a table so once if we execute this query the table is created that's awesome okay i want to alter the table sir yeah id and name is there i want to age also sir alter table student table add column age integer okay so i'm trying to alter the table to insert a new column age that is of type integer Next one, I don't want the table, so drop it, sir. So let's drop the table. Drop table, table name. Okay, so this is how you are able to write your queries. So I create the table, alter the table, remove the table. So now the next one is like we are going to discuss on the data manipulation languages. Okay, let's move on to the data manipulation languages. So before that, like many students, they used to ask me a question, sir. We want to build profile. I got a career break. So like I like I want to change my careers. I got a lot of areas. I need to finish my degree. What can I do? Very simple people. A small shortcut. A simple shortcut is like to get a job is go for internships. Internships like you go to your company, learn lots and lots and build your profile, do research for the company. That is how the internship is like. Our company, Kashi and Fodak, we are providing online internships and offline internships. Contact me. I'm ready to help you. Treat me as a brother. I'm ready to give lots of, of guidance for free, of course. <laughs> Apart from that, recently we launched some of the very specialized course for the current pandemic issues. Okay, go with the security specialist on learning ethical hacking, networking, penetration testing, and blockchain. So you can build your profile in this area or Python, machine learning, data science, and artificial intelligence, AI specialist, or infrastructure, cloud computing, networking, and big data, infra specialist, or full stack web developer with the web designing with the AWS and other stuff. Okay, so build your profile in these four areas so that you can go for job very easily. Okay, yes. Now, over here, like as I told you, the next part I'm going to talk about is data manipulation language, DML. The first one is inserting the data. Once the table is created with the data definition language, I need to insert the data. So one, link at 21. So for the insert query is insert into table. The column is ID, name, and age, and the values is one. Wink at unit you given the single quotes, comma 21 age. Once if we execute this query, automatically the data gets inserted. Sure. This is called insert query. The next one is like update query where I got my update student table. It age equal to 22, where ID is equal to 1. So I want that one wink at his age is 21. I need to update to 22. So set age equal to 22, where ID is equal to 1. So ID is equal to 1 is there. For that, set the age as 22. That is how. So I, I insert the data. I update the data. The final one is I need to delete the data. So I don't want this particular data, the two. Delete. From sorry, I missed, made a mistake. Delete from I got a query wrong here. Delete from table student table where id is equal to two. I want to delete this data. Yes, you can delete it, man. Okay, this is how your insert, update, and delete works. And this is called as data manipulation language. The other one which we are going to discuss about is your data control language. Wait, I can grant an access to Venkat. Venkat can access this table. Oh, Venkat should not access the table. Granting and rewarding, that is called controlling the language. That is called data control language. So data control language in the sense, you got your grant, 
insert the table is here insert on table to venkat venkat can insert the data in this particular table that is granting sir i venkat should not insert any data into the table sir revoke insert on table to venkat so venkat is a user this venkat user should not insert any table into the da data into the table that is called a revoking the statements so this is how your grant and revoke works and the final one which we are going to discuss on is your select statement select statement in the sense like a data retrieval language way i can fetch the data from the table so select star from table this is how you are able to fetch the data from the table okay this is how your sql language works hope you enjoy this all this stuff so like uh, yes um ah uh, yes Yes, so I want to build my profile on SQL, sir. So you got your Kashu certified SQL specialist. So for that, you can learn Oracle and Big Data is an awesome technology you can learn. So I want to build my profile to the latest technology, sir. You can go with artificial intelligence too. So you can learn Oracle, Big Data, Python, the machine learning, and artificial intelligence. If you're looking for any other guidance, here's the numbers and your link is here to get more information. So let's move on to the SQL entry questions like, uh, yeah. You want to like get a lot of sql entry questions like what you have to do is like kashavinfrag.com go to this link slash sql iphone internship i go here just just scroll down to the bottom just scroll down to the bottom like yes yes yes, yes, yes. just scroll down to the bottom you are able to see lots of interview questions learn as much as you can build your profile go for the interview get the job okay so you'll get a lot of interview questions use it okay yes let's move on here like uh, yeah it's time for me to go to the cash price question people okay what is the cash price we are going to see so this is the one we are looking to select the winners the one thing is like uh, we are looking for the content the content should be of good quality and big the reason is like one guy have asked like sir why we should have a big content sir the reason is like the people are having one line or two and we couldn't identify who is the winner okay so i want the content should be big and good quality Small comments are not considered and you can refer Google also. Don't copy and paste. So I request you people use only one account to answer my questions. What is SQL? So like you what you have to do is like post the question and after you need to post the answer. Okay, so here is the tips. So like what you have to do is like subscribe my channel, like the video, share the video and put your name first in the comment. Your name, the question you want to type it answer in the comment okay so your name question and answer all these three things should be there in the comment and afterwards you need to put your google pay and account details in this link cashinfo.com uh, slash part-time job go to this link and post it here okay many people are posting answers they are not posting the like uh, they are not giving their google pay and other details in this particular stuff please do it so what you have to do is like so like a cashinfo.com slash part-time job okay go to that link you need to give the name your youtube name once if you post it like you'll be getting this youtube name here post it here your email mobile and google pay links and submit it automatically the winners will be shortlisted and you'll be getting cash prize already registered people must register okay must register here okay anyway like uh, yes it's time for me to say goodbye to you and uh, like uh, you'll be getting a participant certificate for 100 correct answers in for my videos in the channel and uh, it's my insta account to contact me so i'm like uh, i'm i'm uh, like uh, i'm expecting a message from you people and yes um so these are some of the programs we are conducting on sql we got sql course sql internships and sql projects okay so here's the contact number and whatsapp number to contact me Yes, like a SQL course link is given here. These are the course links available. And SQL internship link, I'm giving it here. And SQL in plan training links, I'm giving it here. Okay, you can contact me at any time for any queries and any support. And here, like, yeah, our company, we are conducting online internships and offline internships in our company. So, like, uh, yeah, these are some of the courses we are conducting. I request you people to share this video to your friends and everyone. It's time for me to say a goodbye to you. Like, I'm listening on a lot of courses. We got lots of courses. You can contact for any queries. Thank you. Jai Hind.